They're very good. They're very tasty. What's our XP at? I just want to make sure. We at 420 still? I had 420 written. Okay. You guys are at 420. Oh, yeah, you're at 422. That's right. <laughs> I mean, if you guys had killed a chair with me, I'm just, just saying. <laughs> I was just letting it happen, man. Uh, okay. All right. All right. That was your demon, the fight. I think I think my mimic lust has been sated for at least a day or two. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm probably coming through both roll twenty and if I had to guess. I don't think so. I only hear it once. It, yeah, I okay, only hear you once. Good. I muted you on roll I oh, muted no, I totally, on roll I'm totally coming through twice. I wonder how I beat myself. Um that's gotta be the, a thing, right? Yeah, it's in the settings. settings. You say I want to broadcast to others video and nothing. voice or Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That was easy. I wonder if I have a map for tonight or not. I think I do. Oh, look at that. Pasture. I'm so good at this. Oh, that's right. We were going goblin hunting. That's what we were going to do. Yeah. Bring on the gabos. Ugh, somebody poke Greg. We can start early. Oh yeah. If not, we can just hang out and chit chat. I don't care. One way or another, to me. I will be right back. Going. Grab a drink. Ugh. Oh boy. My <laughs> second shot on Monday. Oh, that's felt sick. Like, hammered it for two days. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard that it's real bad. It was just kind of weird. Like, I don't know if I was actually, like, super tired from it. I know the first, like, right after I got it, yeah, I, I got tired. But then uh, the next, or I guess it would have been the next night, or next morning and night, or whatever it was, I, I started having chills real bad. And then, uh, <clears throat> I would get hot and cold. And it was like my temperature regulation was just off. It's weird. Yeah. And I couldn't sleep because I just couldn't figure out if I was hot or cold. I kept waking up. Yeah. Is it just me or does Jared sound like a terrible robot? Yep, he sounds like a robot. Okay. Still robotic? Yeah, just a little. Like, it's like choppy almost. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, yeah. It could be this Bluetooth receiver I'm using. It might be shitty. It also looks like John's picking up an echo of me. Oh yeah. So, is it still choppy? It hasn't been. No, nah, okay. it's it's all right. Yeah, it 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 went. Uh, it got better. So Greg's does this too once in a while. It was a little choppy. choppy. Yeah. It could have been because Ashley just started a TV show or something, and it was you know downloading half the episode and buffering it. I don't know. It's yeah. <sighs> Possible. Just let me know, and I can always switch back to my phone. It's, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. I'm over here paying don't. for audio quality, damn it. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Oh, man. A long day. Boring as fuck. <laughs> it's rough. Yeah, it was yeah, real man. slow, so it's one of those where you're just, like, trying to find things to do, which is terrible. So. Yeah, I hate that more than I actually hate being busy. Being busy, things just go by fast. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like kind of busy where I don't feel bad, but, like, take, take a break and fiddle fucking around for 15 minutes or 20. Right. Yeah. I think I have stuff to do. But having to like just search for something, so it's like oh, I want to. I guess I have to do something. Right. This boring shit. So to see this uh, Crusade League starts on Saturday, and it is. I don't know what's you cut out? Yeah, you cut I out again. Out. I wonder. I really wonder if it's if this Bluetooth receiver is just shit. It was pretty damn cheap. 
Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just in and out. Like it's sometimes bad things happen. Um, sometimes bad things happen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me try. Let me. I guess try the phone and see if the connection's better. I don't. I don't know why I'd be cutting out. Have you played with your mic sensitivity at all? I mean, I haven't. You might turn but it. Yeah, I said I was pretty loud. Well, yeah, but if you turn the sensitivity up, it's not like yeah, I can hear you breathing. Awesome. But I don't know. It's just... okay. Yeah, I didn't pick up that heavy breath. No, I heard it. Okay, uh, I, I can turn it down for a little. It, it, it does look like it's cut. Uh, if you're talking, you we now. can't hear you at all. Yep. Yeah, you're gone. Yep. Uh, how about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, that was weird. Hmm. What uh, What now, did you do? I changed my sensitivity by seventy. But I flicked it from automatic to uh, wherever it was totally set, which was like ten decibels higher. Yeah. It. You guys couldn't hear me at all, even though it said I was in the green. Huh. So I might drop it five more, and if you guys like hear weird breathing or whatever, yeah. just let me know, and I'll I'll play with it more. So I can always put on a push to talk, but that's a pain. Oh, push to talk is annoying. Yeah. That's very two thousand five. I don't. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. All right. So. How do I get out of... That's how I get out of that. Neat. Did uh, oh. you end up watching but, the Snyder uh, Cut? I absolutely did. I watched it last night. How was it? And uh, it, it was actually a good movie. It was not like... I don't think it was Marvel movie good. Mm-hmm. But it was the vicious editing to that cut they could have easily got it down to probably right around three hours, which is an acceptable theater length, if a little long, right? It's it's more acceptable. And they could have actually had a DC universe. It's worth a fuck. They don't uh, want it's that. It's a completely different movie. Uh, it really is. And there are a million different types of characters that you didn't even see uh, in the other movie. It's just like... Oh, okay. There were reasons for some of the things that happened that, you know, we had suspected there were, but all the stuff got cut. Like, he did tie-ins for probably, I'd say, at least four other movies in that. Mm-hmm. Or more. Like, there are just fucking plot hooks everywhere. And it, part of it, it was a little all over the place. They could have trimmed some of it out. But I think he was just trying to build himself a lot of, like I said, just plot hooks so he could, you know, make more movies. Right. But like it's it's nuts. You see you see a whole, you know, host of bad guys you didn't see. Uh, you know, same with some others. You see uh I don't wanna like spoil it for anybody who's really excited about it, but you see other characters like John Jones, the Martian Manhunter, that played like no role in anything unless you watch Super <laughs> And uh, now he's just magically in the movie. And it sort of makes sense. Hey, uh, uh, I don't know. On your on your voice and video in Discord, what all do you have turned on in there? Because I'm wondering if it might be Discord fucking with it too. It could be. Hold on. Um, I've got my input and output device is this headset. Uh-huh. My input volume is all the way up. Yep. My output volume is... Where, it says it's 100% yeah. but it's halfway. Right. Um, I've got voice activity checked. Mm-hmm. Uh, I unchecked automatically to determine the input since it being turned down some. Okay. No video. Uh, noise suppression is off. Okay. Uh, the video codec, it says open H264. Yeah, all that. Uh, what about the voice processing? Yeah, echo cancellation, noise reduction are both on. Huh. Automatic gain control is on. Okay, yeah, all mine are on. I'm just sort of looking at what. Uh, quality of service is mine's, off. Mine's off as well. Um, I don't know if you would turn that on. Uh, attenuation is all the way at 0%. Yeah. And the 
rest of it. Okay, well, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I don't, I don't know if it's your headset or if it's more like the uh, Discord. I don't really know. We'll just have to it, see. Well, that's why I was kind of wondering about doing it through my phone because I wonder if it's this cheapo Bluetooth adapter. I just bought like a thirteen dollar USB dongle. I mean, you could always try it through your phone, and we can tell you if it's better or not. So. Yeah. Give it a go. Makes sense. Is Arena actually out on phones now? Did they do that finally? I think it's I think out. It um, I, yeah, I think it is. Uh, as of today, it's out on both. It came out on iPhones. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at them go. I'm gonna switch over and see if it's any better. Yeah, see, right. see if it's any better. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, wonder how that's gonna run on the phone. Probably horribly, but yeah, um, <laughs> it feels. It feels like some games where you get you know infinite tokens and like all the triggers is just gonna not. It's a great. Movie. Yeah, it's yeah. not gonna work. I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna put it on my iPad and see. Um, because I play a lot of Hearthstone while I'm laying on the floor in my two year old's room waiting for her to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. So I'll yeah. Uh, play some Magic. We'll see how it works. But I mean, it's like a gig, 904 megabytes. Is it? Yeah. It's a big, big amount. Yeah. I think I just hate. Like, it'd probably be fine on the iPad or something like that, but just on my phone, it just makes me always yeah. mad. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I don't just hate it. I don't, <laughs> I don't play Hearthstone on my phone either. Mainly because I don't want to have so this it. Awkward, but... Hello? What's that? What? It turned my Xbox on when I when I connected to the uh, phone. Oh. I heard <laughs> it in my ear. I heard doo doo. So my Xbox is on downstairs. <laughs> It's mildly annoying. There's probably some settings I can play with there, because there are a million settings on this. I'd right. Yeah, on this really mic, I just haven't played with any of them. You do sound Greg's better here. on that, though. You do. I will yeah, say. you do sound way better. I think it's, I think it's the shitty Bluetooth dongle. Yeah, probably. Or it could yeah. be because my computer's old as fuck, and the motherboard just doesn't like it. I imagine it's the dongle, I'm going to say. Could be. You know what's the dongle or your dongle? Uh, 90? yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I, think, I, think I, I see Greg just rolling. I'm gonna go refill my water. I'll be back in just a second. Water, I'm drinking a Coca Cola because I was already hungover once this week. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it twice to myself, especially like only a few days apart. Not a good idea. Nah, it's not. Not bueno. Oh man. No, I had enough. I had enough hangover last weekend to last me quite some time. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you hurt. Oh, I did. I hurt for several hours. Yeah, it checks out. That's why I don't do it very often. Once in a while, sure, fine. Fuck. So, Tish, can I wanted to ask you if you can explain to me why people who play 40k suck, <laughs> just generally suck. Why, what, why because, do they generally suck? Yeah, why do they just generally suck? Uh, snotty because, attitude, usually. I just... I did all this... We did all this work and, like, put together all this stuff, and two people before the league has started have already dropped. And the one was, like, wanting to invite people, and he's like, yeah, you know, this is going to be great. And then he backs out. I'm like, okay, yeah. cool. The other one, just no communication from to or from anybody. Fucking doesn't do anything. So... 
his cool. one buddy says, "Hey, I talked to him. He's being a little bitch about it." I got another. I got another friend who I can replace him with. I'm like, all right, whatever, get him in. So then the two new people who joined have not filled out a list whatsoever, even though they were told, you know, hey, read it, put your list together, what it, you know. But nope, they don't do shit. Yeah. Nobody reads any documents, right? Like, I just don't understand how you have a hobby you've paid hundreds of dollars for, if not way more than that, and you just don't care to do anything to play. This is why yeah. you have to curate your game friends. I, I'm aware of that, but I'm trying to build a community here, Lee. I'm trying to do the responsible <laughs> thing. I've sat on the sidelines for 10 years mm -mm. and uh, you know, I've just watched the Evansville 40k community be a complete just fucking swamp. I and mean, I decided if it's going to be better, I'm just going to have to do it. Oh, but I tried to do it with X-Wing and it almost gave me an ulcer. I just... <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. I remember that effort. Uh, ulcers aren't good. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna ring some necks. Yeah, it's just. Saturday. It's. It, I feel like for a lot of people, it's just hard to motivate them to do anything. Um, and people just kind of suck, especially if you don't have face to face or anything like that. So. Well, we're doing. Instead of, you know, everybody being sufficient to, you know, pair themselves off and play fucking, I'm asking for two games a month. That's not that right. hard. Two <laughs> games a month is not hard. They can't do it. They cannot figure that fuck out on their own. So we are having an, a, an in-person play day with everybody at a game shop after hours. Because one of the people who was originally in the league and bailed works at the fucking game shop. This is how I knew it was badly. It's a hobby town employee. Oh, it's probably the guy that was telling you about painting his figures and how great it was going to be. And I was just like, okay, just yeah. <laughs> when I went to pick up, oh my god, <laughs> it was like he. Sh I went and picked up our Blood Bowl stuff from Hobby Town. I, I put a big order in for like, you know, the other guys we play with here in town. And I went and got it. And the guy was building a Space Marine, and he was like, it was like the first one he'd ever built. And then he was like, he glued it together, and then he was like, yeah, then I found out you're supposed to like leave the arms off to paint them, and I was like, no, no. Put them together to play with and, and figure out how to paint around that, because you'll never you'll never play if you do that. And he just was, I don't know. Turns out Sticky Tack is your friend. Well, I, you know, I mean, he was Mad. worried about painting the crest on like some no-name Marine. Just don't worry about it. Yeah, not, <laughs> not, not the beginning. You need to play with plastic right. before you do anything else. Yeah. Yeah, and gray, if you, that's right. And you, it's fine. And if you, you know, if you've never painted too, right, just don't worry about it looking like a, a work of art. Just play and then, you know, paint, paint Knock what you out can. some randoms. Yeah, have fun. But anyway, I don't know. Paint some random shit. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's going to be a fucking mess. And uh, I don't know. It's COVID times don't help. But at the same time, it gave me a good excuse for trying to start small. And yeah, not let everybody yeah. and their brother into this thing. So, yeah. I don't know. I thought you were going to say it was Robert, is who I was expecting. No. I didn't think he No, drop Robert out. doesn't work at the Gaming Guild anymore, by the way. Oh, he doesn't? No, I don't know exactly what happened, but he has oh. kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Really? He, he's alive. Yeah. I know that. I saw him post something on Facebook. I haven't mm. reached out to him, though, either. So, he owes me money. Oh. Let's like, go rough him up. So, I happen where you're like they owe me money <laughs> and then they drop off the face of the earth yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He, owed, he owed me a couple hundred bucks so but yeah, yeah this is this is a normal thing i'm looking but i don't know i think there was a falling out there between him and gaming guild and, and i know he, i asked him to play in the league but he is still like hardcore not doing shit with anybody serious oh. about covid times so i'm What's like hey, his uh, it is Smith. Oh, I guess maybe we're not Facebook friends anymore. I don't know. He said we were Lee guy. <laughs> I was yeah, here all pretentious. I, I can't. I don't know. I always talk to him. Yeah, I don't even. Are you sure he's still on Facebook? I saw him post something today. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm, I could be fucking losing it. I don't know. 
I don't <laughs> see him obviously on Facebook, and I don't have a friend who's Robert. He Smith. is uh, Robert Smith on the Facebooks. Oh, I see. Uh, him. Is... Yeah. I don't know. I guess we're not friends anymore. He made a post an hour ago. It's okay. So he's alive. That's okay. I see him. Yeah. I I don't really care, to be honest with you. Yeah, either. I just kind of hold my money. <laughs> Give yeah. me my money. I mean, he's he's a good guy. Not like... But yeah. He's, he is a... He's a friend, but closer to the acquaintance level. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, that's, I guess, what I mean. Right? I'm not really... Although I don't know that I take my no. Facebook friendships to heart, so... No. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I'd play 40k with it, right? That's that's where we're at. But I'd play 40k with a lot of people, as it turns out, and even <laughs> some of them I really. I've met some of the people you play 40k with, and I. Got mm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> some Mexican to do it with them. Well, we, we, we went to what was it? Uh, game night and played with a lot of those guys. I I oh, can't yeah. do that. I mean, like, I just... Yeah. yeah. You guys, of all the ones you went to, you picked a fucking match. <laughs> like, I'm, uh, Yeah. It I'm, was bad. I don't I don't understand why it was so bad. It, I mean, it's usually not great, but that one was exceptionally bad. Yeah, well, I mean, there were, there were multiple issues with that one, and it wasn't... Uh, some of them were self-inflicted. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know. I mean, Tusi met Andy. He gets it. Yeah, I know. I, I, was, I was there for that. Yep. He knows. That was, yeah. That was the thing. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. I guess we can. Everybody's here. It's close to 830. Any other business before we kick off? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no. I going don't. once, nope. going twice. All right. Take it away, fellas. You wake up after a night of uh, of debauchery. Uh, you know, some of your pockets are heavier, some of your pockets are lighter. Uh, everybody has all ten fingers and toes, and everybody seems to have made it to their own bed. Hurrah! Uh, and, get it. and somehow, the somehow you guys are not as hungover as you think you deserve to be. <laughs> Lucky us. Um, well, if we're gonna head out for this uh, goblin camp, um, we need to make sure we've got food and supplies and et cetera, et cetera, yeah, et cetera before point. we uh, walk out into. The house, so. All right, can you guys hear me randomly wrestling with dice? Not really. Um, can't hear me rolling. Uh, no, I hear that. I can kind of hear it, but it's not, like, distracting. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to make it more sensitive, because I need you guys to know when I'm randomly rolling dice. <laughs> On principle. <laughs> On principle. A, a soundboard up, you know. Random die roll. Yeah. All right. Uh, so um, you guys are searching for really? some, Sacking oh, up, right? Getting some is. supplies and doing some stuff. Yes. Oh, damn. I found it. Eight non-perishable food things. Uh, yeah, all right. My notebook again. Definitely need. I'm gonna go pick up like another uh, another ten. So we we assume like based on the rough scale of our map, we're looking at. We have what? to go out to the east a little ways, don't we? Like it's out a. Yeah. Bit too we're, we're talking probably like eight to ten days journey out there and then all the time that we spend out there and then eight to ten day journey back so yeah. we probably need 30 rations um probably i mean we can hunt yeah. and get some of them but you know we still need a fair fair number i need a cart nah can we get some animals do they, uh, they yeah, have like actually, a stable and everything? Can we can we buy pack animal? I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'd say uh, you could probably wrestle one up. Of course. I'm trying to. You don't want a donkey? Oh yeah, donkey. Don. Donkey. Art. 
Uh, I'm gonna look up the cart. You guys look up the ammo. I'm Donkey. looking up the cart. The cart's only three gold pieces. Okay. It's not bad. Um. Piloting check is either driving lore, DC 14, or nature, DC 16 to 24, depending on whatever is. But it has to be pulled by a large creature. Okay. Pack animal. Uh, 2 GP. Cheaper. So it's 5 GP altogether to do this. It yeah. seems reasonable. Yep. Right. Well, we're going. I guess it's not mountainous. Yeah, it's wooded, right? As far as we know. Uh. I I don't think I took notes for that far. So it's like hills and plains to the is to the east of the mountains. Um, so it is south of the mountains. We might end up in some mountainous areas, but it's probably just hills and plains. Derek, can I recall a knowledge since he, if I know how difficult it would be to pull a cart through some of the areas that we've been through? Certainly. You can give me a you can give me a, a nature Pretty or cool. a. Uh, Nature or survival, I guess. There it is. So, let's do nature. Yeah. Or, or survival. Uh, 19. Okay. Um, you think that... Um, if you're moving through woods, you can likely navigate through the woods with a cart of some sort, but it's going to slow you down, uh drastically you'll probably only be able to make half the speed you would on foot uh but you know over some rolling hills and plains you wouldn't be slowed down but uh if you pulled it up and down a lot of hills you could get worn out from it okay but generally it's it's doable it just will slow you awesome. um even with the pack animal pulling yeah i guess that makes sense. it's just yeah it's it's wide. Just harder to navigate yeah, it's wide it's, it's hard to awkward. navigate yeah, yeah if you've it's... got a pack animal pulling, you can go at your normal speed on planes. If you're pulling it by hand, uh, you can go at half speed on planes. Yeah, How so about that? This, the cart is 10 feet long, 5 feet wide, 4 feet high. Yeah. So like I said, it's it's doable, just you may have to... You're going to have to, through woods, you're going to be slower. Right. Yeah, I mean, if we want to get a cart, you know, down with that. I mean, it probably makes we sense. It's cart. gonna, it, we can, we take the cart. We just take a little bit more time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, in that case, crash it. Over beat. Four, I think. I don't remember. Crash. Damn. Yeah, yeah, four, four silver three, pieces right? per week. Per week, okay. So we're just gonna buy two weeks. It was a twenty round. I'm at fourteen. I might buy. I could. I might buy an next week to twenty. So yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, Another. I'll do the same. Four silver. Round up at twenty-three. I'm gonna do two. How much do I need yeah, to pay? 19. Uh, four per week of rations. Okay, four per week. Um, how do we want to pay for this cart and the pack animal? Is that my right gold? I feel like I spent more gold lately. I can I can buy the cart if you guys want. Oh, I spent a bunch of fucking copper pieces that's what it is i paid those goddamn fishermen um i'll buy you i'll did. buy you, i'll yeah, buy the you, cart you spent silver on there you spent buy silver the pack on animal. fishermen too yeah i'll buy the pack animal okay i'll buy the cart so uh let's come on. I'll, I'll go to five is that party loot need to be distributed still up above yes oh oh all right yeah that's uh, eight so we each get two gold out of that are we are right. we doing that or are we going to put it in the current party loot because we have a lot of money in the loot we oh yeah that, that. that. that's, do, that's your like total party yeah oh i forgot yeah so that needs to go so that 
Do these these numbers here need to go over into the current Yeah, they need to, yeah, 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 so... Okay. That's how you guys set that up. So you guys have a bank of party money. Yeah. That yeah. Is, uh, sitting unused. So oh. is it is it 100 <laughs> copper to a silver? No, it's... Or, a, ten, it's 10, 10, 10. 10. Yeah, 100 ten, copper ten, to a gold. Ten. Coppers are like pennies. Yeah. If your golds are a dollar. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So Which that would kind be... Kind of a weird... 19... Uh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, if we're just going to pull it from the party, then I'll just, you know, I'll keep my gold and we can just pull it from... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just buy it with the party. Yeah, probably buy it with the party. Okay, so, uh... Yes. I'm updating the party Yeah, so right update now. and then we'll buy everything that we're going to get. Um... Let's see. Pasture. Put a mark in this book where I need it. Six. So... Jingle jangle in it. Yep. <laughs> so much money. Rolling in the and I'm assuming the party loot you are storing like in town while the rest is what you're carrying on you. Yes. Yeah, I don't think we're carrying around like fat stacks yeah. on us. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you yeah. did. <laughs> well, well Johnny Fat Stacks. <laughs> Greg is. Greg, Greg carries all of his money out in the open. <laughs> in my cauldron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good place for it. So, Greg, I feel like your it cauldron may or may should not ride. be melted. <laughs> your, uh, your cauldron should ride on the cart and just pace back and forth. I feel like that's a real <laughs> thing. Sure. Makes sense. Just, you know. Uh, so, if we buy... Okay, so if we buy everything, there'll be five gold pieces away from that. For the cart and the pack animals. <laughs> Be at 33 gold. I mean, technically, Sick. we could buy a war horse for reasons. Can anybody for war. handle that? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but, they, but they don't get frightened. I mean, oh, but also, you know, five times the price. It's the other things you might need to know. Sorry, 10, 15 times the price. I mean, 30 GP. Oh, so we just we just literally just bankroll <laughs> the whole party loot into a warhorse. Yeah, Which no, immediately not. fucking dies. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Jared's gonna find a way to kill that <laughs> immediately. It has 36 hit points. I mean, well, yeah, but I mean, Damn. Sean, how many hit points do you have? 47. How There's many times almost more than mine. <laughs> yeah, but the horse, just... you know, the horse might. We could tell it to run away. It can move fast. It can, can move move of these. it can go yeah. 120 feet in one turn. Run for a shroud. Kind of a lot. Uh... <laughs> <God>. <laughs> That's funny. Um... Okay, what else should we maybe bring? What what should we expect? At, like, okay, so we're going to like the big goblin encampment, not one of these little like, uh, yeah, whatever, right? So, what does anybody know anything about like what we might expect in a bigger goblin encampment? Like, you know. Well, I guess we should ask. Let's go ask the mayor. Yeah, uh, go ask Bannon. That dude, that dude <laughs> knows some shit that he doesn't like to talk about. Yeah, he Probably seems like he more... knows stuff. Yeah. I'll put some more finger see. wagglers. Yeah. yeah, I expect finger wagglers for sure, but... Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, do you, if we expect finger wagglers, do you want me to try to learn a uh, counterspell or some shit? Might not be a bad deal. Let's see. I make sure that I can actually cast that. I don't think I can. So... Counter magic is a reaction, I believe, that yeah. you get off a of feet, uh, and yeah. you have to have the same spell prepared that they're casting. Uh, yeah. Identify yeah. a spell that they're casting, and then pop off and cancel one of your spell slots to cancel one of theirs. That sounds familiar. It's, re it's really good if it goes off, uh, but it's kind of tough to. Sometimes right. it's kind of tough to do. Yeah, this feat has a trait that corresponds. Yeah, that's why I picked dangerous sorcery instead. So that, that would be a bigger, um, that'd be a bigger pain in the ass than we want to deal with.
if I had another skill increase, I'd say one of us should, you know, be trained in Arcana. It'd take a week to retrain, though. <laughs> it would be, yeah. It'd be nice. I got this shiny thing, but I don't know what it yeah, does. Yeah, currently we all get shiny things, and we have no fucking clue what the hell we're doing with them, but that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> that's true. That's true, true. Um... Do you not have to be a spellcasting class to have Arcana in this? You do not. Nope, you can uh, just know it, yeah. You can study stuff. Um... Okay, what about any utility items? Because we're going to be out for a minute. I've got rope, flint and steel. Yeah, I think I've still got mine from the adventurer's pack. I guess I should get a pup tent because I think you guys all bought them and I refused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did, I did get one. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna sleep under his uh, his wolf hat. That thing's probably He's a little mangy by now. <laughs> like, He's just probably, yeah. we can share. No, he oils it. I'm pretty sure he oils it every day. I oil my wolf hair. hat. Yeah. Not well. Maybe you don't oil it every day, but like you, okay. you know, like you brush the fur and you oil the yeah. coat up, make it shine. I, I would take care of it. If I had a big wolf hat, that's that's true. Um. He brushes it out, so none of those mimics from the mimic swarm. Get oh to, right, get right, in, right. In between it's, the in between the hairs. That is a messy uh, wolf head. Is is the first downfall uh, when it comes to uh, mimicry. Uh, <laughs> where do we have somewhere for like our like group like the cart and stuff like that like i don't know just things that kind of we all have we don't have any items that accumulate on the cart well uh, in the miscellaneous tab you could totally make a cart section i will do that yeah it seems like a good idea and then make like a so make like a cart item bulk and then a total bulk so that you know how much that poor fucking pack animal's pulling <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, would you say item yeah, uh, something like that. Bulk. Item bulk. Yeah. Amount. Or item quantity bulk or yeah, what however you want to do it. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't even, then, where are you typing? I don't even see it. It's over here. To the right. Oh, J Where's J K L. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm being. I didn't have my. Yeah. Ain't typical. Maybe a total too. Total yeah. bulk. Uh. Or I guess, nah, yeah. Yeah, it's probably easier to have two columns for that. Yeah, something like that. Yep. And then we can have a grand total at the bottom. Maybe I should look up, like, cart. Let me just see if it has, like, a max. Let's see. One pilot, one passenger. Nature. Let's see, whatever, depending on the creature. Um. AC of 10, fortitude save of plus 6. Hey, the cart has a fortitude save? Yep, fort plus 6. That's fine. Uh, hardness 5, yeah. hit points 14. It Write is... this down on the thing. Hardness 5, hit points 14, in case somebody comes after the cart. Yep. <laughs> I'll put it all down. It's also immune to critical hits and, and object immunities and precision damage, luckily. Nice. Yes, it is so, a cart. Lee, I have two questions for you. <laughs> You ready, Lee? Did yeah. you check to see if the cart was a mimic? Oh, I haven't no. yet. Um, I haven't, but I will. Don't worry. Oh, and okay. the collision for it is 1d10. DC 14. If we want to run huh. somebody over with the cart. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, you know that's happening now. Yeah, it is now. Uh, uh, is that reflex? DC yeah, 14 yeah, reflex? yeah, yeah. Okay. So Lee, after you check, you determine the cart is not a mimic. Uh, what did you name the cart? Is my second question. Yeah, we gotta brand this thing. The cart, not the horse. Yeah, the or cart, the not the horse. I mean, okay. we could brand the horse, but that's a little cruel. Um. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Gotta think on this for a minute. There's a good name for this. 
All right, well, John, while everybody's thinking about a name, also be thinking about your route out of town that you want to take and what kind of exploring you want to do, et cetera, et cetera. Those are other things to think about. I don't understand what you mean by kind of exploring. What kind of, are you going to just, like, walk? Are you going to explore and map? Like, how are you going to do stuff? Um, probably map. But I guess I, I mean, like, know. are are you looking for other shit to do on the way? Or are you not? Oh, um, no, not looking. Right? For, I, mean, I mean, are we looking for other shit to do on the way? I was just gonna wing it, and we'll find out when we find out. Well, I mean, that's that is an acceptable strategy. I mean, I feel like if we see stuff, we see stuff, right? Yeah, know. right. There's distractions. We might get distracted. See stuff. Do stuff. Yeah. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, piece of candy. Mm-hmm. Call it the Ooh, cash carriage. <laughs> cash cart? The cash cart. Yeah. Get cash now. Alliterative. <laughs> 877. Yep. Or the filthy lucre. You know, whatever you want to call it. I just went back to Dirty Luca from uh, a bit of tights. <laughs> or the spoiled spoils. Oh, dirty Luca. <laughs> you call it that. That's good. What, where are we etching into this thing? <laughs> um, I don't know. Makes wide turns. <laughs> 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 How's my driving? Yeah, <laughs> let's just I'm gonna etch that to the back of it. <laughs> God, that, that, that's fine. I feel like that's okay. <laughs> All right. So for how many silver pieces was for the rations? Uh, four it was per four week. for a week. Four per week. Okay. So then, oh man, I should guess I should pick up the two weeks. Oh, that sucks. So I'll go to 19. Eh, we'll just do three weeks. Add 21. We'll go to 29 rations. All right. How many of these rations is everybody stored on the cart? That's the other question. I'm not putting any rations on the cart. Yeah, no, I can carry all these. You got three yeah. weeks worth of food on your back? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put, like, the cookware that I have um, on the cart. Uh, so, let's see. There's the big pot. Uh, and then, that's really, the, oh, i got to put the torches on the, court, the cart. Yeah, five torches. I feel like we need more space. Give me a second while I calculate my bulk. Yeah, I'm looking at my oh, bulk too. Just so it's point one six, yeah. seven. I just did X over ten, but yeah, that's fine. I, I thought L was fine, but that'll work too, because then we can make it a formula and just carry over the one. Yeah. yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah, I'm still good. I'm at four point six. Are you and... fixing this or? Yeah, I got it. All right. Yeah, I'm still good. I'm not good. Almost... Else, we guys turtle. I could almost even carry my cookware. Um, I don't know. I think I think we just wander out in that direction. I think we we don't really stop to do too much. We're just gonna explore and maybe map the area so that we get an idea of where the goblins are. But I think we just hate head straight east huh. until That's we start seeing point. stuff. Oh, Jared, I'm also going to buy a crowbar and throw it in the uh, thing. The cart. Now he's thinking with his... Now he's thinking with both of these. Right. (laughs) We don't need a crowbar. We have a mimic leg. I don't feel like you get the same leverage, but... Ah, ah, they're pretty tough. Crowbars are a little harder. That was a wood affinity mimic. Oh...
Greg's just dumping it all in. He's like, Fuck, I'm dumping all the shit I'm not using. I, yeah, I that's have fair. No weight. <laughs> I have no strength. I can. Me crafting my shit for the day almost makes me encumbered. It's that bad. <laughs> like if I get if Jesus. my next level, I I become encumbered when I craft my shit. <laughs> hey, and now you understand why I gave you a walking cauldron. It's like I knew. True. <laughs> Right, you can just walk or walk along behind you, hand your pots. This is why I'm just gonna be handing out Drake hearts to literally everyone. <laughs> I mean, Vicky God's over here real happy about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I you mean, just uh, you just always get two Drake cards at the beginning of the day, John. Yeah, no, I I, I always so, have them in my thing. <laughs> Greg, did you switch up your bombs from the undead bombs? Yes, I am making. I'm back to making poisons and and uh, alchemist fire instead. Oh, and uh, wait, how much are the healing pots? Right. So I'm making two poisons, six bombs. Oh shit. Four gold, I think. Yeah, that's right. Uh. Bleh. You know, I want. I'm gonna buy two of them from. Freya. For yeah. for reasons. For reasons. I ain't afraid. I feel like those reasons oh, are so somebody can pour them down your throat later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's true. I gave my healing potion away. I should buy another one. <laughs> I'm just I'm just stating some things that I'm getting. You guys can get whatever yeah, you want. <laughs> no, I should. How, how much were they? I didn't. Uh, hear. They're four, four gold pieces. For a four a, gold pieces. Yeah, for a miner. You can buy another fucking cart for that. No shit. That yeah, actually costs more than the cart. I'm taking it out of the party loot because I'm not going to use it anyway. I know where it's going. <laughs> hey, you're in melee now, Lee. It could happen. Yeah, it could, it could happen. <laughs> nah. You're just assuming I'm going to get hit, and you're right. But that's fine. <laughs> and you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. But I don't pull. I don't do, pull do we aggro. stab the guy with two swords or the guy with the uh, with open hands? <laughs> yeah. Open glowing hands now. Thank you. Ooh, <laughs> That's right. Oh, they're glowing. My plus one striking hand reps. Hmm. Okay. So uh, is everything on the cart that needs to be on the cart? You're loaded up. Yeah, you got your. I think we're good got your uh, pack horse hitched to the cart uh, you said you guys wanted to talk to Bannon see what to expect at a goblin like a in a typical goblin encampment yeah, yeah I think so uh, so Bannon Bannon goes launches straight into a straight into an explanation uh, in clipped uh, clipped clip tones almost as if he's he's given a report uh, and says, you know, typically, typically goblins are ragtag, kind of ragtag bundles of them, uh, warrens, uh, of where they're, warrens where they're just piled together. Uh, and then there's, there's sometimes a big, a big goblin that's the boss, but when they've been absorbed into other, uh, into other armies, uh, specifically by Hobbs, since you've, you have, uh, you mentioned Sin seeing hobgoblins uh, evidence of hobgoblins in the area uh, that goblins are usually the lower caste and that, that kind of an army uh, and hobgoblins are known for being more uh, more rigid in their uh, their structure uh, of their camps and they're more of a warlike race uh, so they actually have they actually have encampments and uh, practices similar to similar to those of a more civilized military uh, so he says, you know, to expect if they've been there for any length of time, expect patrols, pickets, uh, you know, a, a palisade if it's if it's a long term encampment. OK, and then he uh, he kind of shakes himself and and uh, he says, well, there that's what I've heard anyway. Um, huh. Not buying that. What about a. Uh hobgoblins in general i mean you know we haven't encountered like actually fought one um, we have not yeah i guess i wonder like, they're uh he said they're disciplines disciplined soldiers uh you know they're nothing this he said they're nothing the standard hobgoblin soldiers nothing uh 
you know, some strapping, strapping adventures like yourself can't handle. He says, but be careful. He says they're they're known to have renowned marksmen. Oh no! Uh, yeah. Fuck that! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Fuck that, says the caster. <laughs> I would prefer to not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess. That's yeah, I think. Do we, do we do we want anything else after that? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, we're just gonna <clears throat> be in a situation where we might have to fight some hobgoblins. Yeah. Oh. Uh, do we guys? Do we think thirty-two arrows is enough? No. No. Well, I guess you're melee now, aren't you? Well, the only thing that really changed was um, I don't get my double shot anymore. Yeah. When I went melee, yeah. So oh, I get a right. double. I get a double swing with melee weapons. I don't get the double shot, but all the other stuff is still there, right? I still get the 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 bonus to shooting range and. Um, True. I still have the plus one bow. I mean, I can still be ranged. It's just I. I, you know, changed. Didn't you move the plus one over to something else to sleep? Oh yeah, we did take the plus one off. Uh, I put it yeah, on my. Your, uh, your I put it on my top. silver plated sword. So, but I still have the bow. I still have a long bow, and I still have um, you know, arrows. I have a poison arrow and a sleep arrow. Um, probably have more. Okay. Yeah. How much were arrows? I'll get. Um, like one SP per ten or something like that, I think. It's not very much. I think it's right. Okay. Okay. I'll get uh, maybe another thirty and just stow them on the cart. You know, say so you've got a cart now. You can have a wicker basket yeah. full of them sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah do you have true. a long bow or a short bow? I have a long bow. Yeah, it's a one silver piece for. Okay. How much are short bow arrows? Are they cheaper? It's less wood. <laughs> I that mean, doesn't make any sense. Same bolts. If, what's, know, what's the unit? Probably no, shoots they're, much they're the bullets. same. They're the same. It's just they're just, just yeah. yeah. They're just labeled differently. That's yeah. funny. That's, weird. That's weird. But, well, I mean, they should be the same, right? I mean, the, realistically, the difference between making a longbow shaft and a short bow shaft is, you know, yeah, what, uh, not even a foot. Yeah, probably. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys are going to set out, it's early. It's still pretty early in the morning. Uh, you guys got a deceptively early start after your shenanigans. Everybody woke up rested, and you know you felt like you really needed that uh, that couple days of just uh, sheer enjoyment after yeah. the haunting crypts that you just cleared out. And you feel like that was the right call, just to take a take a little break and, and enjoy life for a minute. You wake up refreshed and early, and uh, it's, you know the sun hasn't made it uh, made it you know, quite past about what she thinks about nine, nine, ten o'clock, you're ready to set out east. All right. Somebody give me a path. We probably just head straight, straight east, straight to J, uh, J24. All right. Um, so there you go. You're, you're there. You're traveling. You have, uh, you've been through that one before. Uh, you see the loggers are making, you know, making some good, uh, some good work over the past you know month that you've been here you can see that there's been a lot of wood harvested from the uh, edge of the forest uh even you know not quite a mile back yet but it's there's definitely a large chunk of trees gone uh as the small town of shadows fall is slowly growing hey i'm gonna run afk real quick there's a kid crying upstairs and i'm gonna go make sure my wife doesn't need a hand real quick just uh you guys can do whatever you need with me uh kill mimics anything i'll be right back all right Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Slayer of Mimics taking a break. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we just keep going through the way that we went through before. All right, and you're going straight out east again from there, so you're going to J26? Uh, yeah, I think so. Excuse me. I think so. Uh, unless, do we want to, like, uh, do we want to move around or whatever uh, uh i mean we can 
it would help us like fill out the map a little more, I guess, if we did that. I guess it's just how much we want to bullnose it. Nah, let's just, I, I say we run hummed it a little bit. Oh. Yeah, because then on our way back, I mean, we could, you know, depending on how we're feeling, my, yeah, venture, just bending. Right. Okay. Um, so, you guys, as you know, as the, it starts to, starts to be kind of later in the evening as you break through the, the other end of the forest, uh, it's taking you quite a lot longer with the cart. Uh, so you break, just break out of the edge of the forest as night's starting to fall. Uh, and you get into the into the rolling hills. Do you guys want to camp or push on? Um, camp, I guess. Probably I camp. Know. We probably don't want to like wear the. I mean, you know, the animal also needs to rest, and we don't need to like. We're not on like a time crunch, as far as I know. So. Yeah. yeah. Keep it steady. I'm babe. assuming. Yeah, you guys are going pretty slow and steady. Yeah. Uh, I. As far as, you know, a pack beast in the cart, what's the highest nature that anybody's got? Like, uh, plus six. <laughs> pretty sure it is. Plus no. six, yeah, it's either... Oh, wait, I have plus six. That's yeah. right, I Yeah, forgot. you guys have plus six, yeah. Right, too, so you started chuckling. I was like, aren't you... A, like, isn't that your whole stick? <laughs> it's this nature healing? Um. Uh, so, yeah, you know, there's you haven't had any issues with this, this pack beast. It's been pretty... seems to be pretty well trained. Um... So far, he's, he's doing good things. Any of you name uh, it, or are you just right. calling it horse? <laughs> donkey! Donkey! Oh, it's donkey. <laughs> That's all right. I'm, uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. No so, all right. So you guys uh, you guys make a camp at the yep. edge of uh, J26. Yep. Normal watch order. Throw me some perceptions. Here we go, and, boys. Uh, stick them in... I don't care. Let's put them in PC, that PC stats section. We've got a place for this. Oh, yeah. big number. Uh, uh, I got a big number. 24. Uh, where is oh, it? Wow. Okay. In PC stats. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Perception check. I just got a hard and strong. Give me a minute. Gotta burn all these good rolls, surprise. and whenever it counts, I'm gonna have <laughs> real bad rolls. <laughs> right? Yeah. First combat roll is gonna be like a two. Yep. I gotta figure out if anything happens and when it happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? That seems like a thing that could totally happen. So, uh, who was third watch? Lee. Uh, well, Lee's third watch. Am I third? I see, so uh, says. Well, I looked at perce where where are we putting these in at? Am I the PC stats? Yeah, under the watch order. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I was third I was in order. We my perception check. Nope, we're good. Yeah. No, no, you're third watch. watch. All right. So, what okay. kind of mimic's gonna show up? Uh, Lee, you're you're out there kicking the tires, kicking the wheels on the cart. Um, <laughs> you know, there's. Nothing, nothing going on. You hear the normal noises at night, and uh, you you know you chip a little section away uh, from the side, and you're you're pretty sure it's not a mimic because most mimics wouldn't stand still to be branded. Uh, you you know you you get a little more respect for uh, a little more respect for John's characters for sin because you know he, he thought to to try to burn burn it out uh, to make sure it wasn't hiding. Sure. You know, you, you do a perimeter check. Everything everything seems to be okay. Uh, and then, Greg, uh, you are... So Ellie is, uh, you know, she's a little enamored with Donkey. 
the new the new pack beast and she's over there making sure that he's doing okay and sleeping well uh and then you we're gonna figure out what happens to you hmm. Hmm. So. that's interesting so uh go ahead and give me a will save a will save okay 18 plus 6, 24. Okay, so you saved. Uh, so you see, as you turn, uh, you know, the small, like, the embers that you guys have got kind of in the lee of this little hill you're camping in. Uh, you're casting a shadow, and your shadow, you notice it goes the wrong way for a second. Uh, and then it starts to... Uh, the shadow starts to like split and uh, walk out on its own. And then as you notice and realize that's not your shadow, uh, it morphs into this uh, uh, amalgam of horror. Uh, and out of your shadow comes this, uh, this, this head with a stag's horns and a wolf's face, uh, just slabbering, you know, fucking blood dripping from its mouth. Uh, and it, uh, it lets out a howl and goes for you, uh, and it tries to uh, tries to bite you. Okay then. Shit. Uh, does a nineteen do it? Uh, no, I'm twenty now. You are oh, twenty yeah. now. Look you go. So you uh, you're dropped on your butt. Everybody else, make me a perception check with disadvantage. Or whatever uh, they call it in this. Twelve? I got a six. I got a twelve as well. Alright, everybody else is still sleeping. Uh, go ahead and put those perception numbers in the initiative tracker. And then Greg, roll me a nuke. Okay. I don't actually I don't I don't guess it matters. You just put yourself at the top of whatever they get. And make sure your so current hit points are max. Okay. That, you said that perception was in the initiative tracker. Yeah. Yep. That'll those those shitty perception rolls will be your initiative if y'all ever wake up. That's fair. All right. Good point to adjust the current max HP. Done and done. Okay. Everybody done. that the donkey chill with this <laughs> uh the donkey uh first night uh is still asleep wow you know we should have bought that war horse <laughs> i'm gonna move you to 14 greg because i'm gonna make this thing a 13 it's gonna go right after you okay all right go ahead man you are up. So is the thing... How close was it? Uh, it is, like, on... It, you just... It's right next to you. You just, right. like, managed to... You managed to bat it away as it, it tried to attack you as you noticed it coming... Trying to come out of your shadow. And it is... You notice now in the... Kind of in the darkness that it also... It, it's got, like, a stag's... It's got stag's horns, a wolf's head. Uh, you know, looks like a stag's front legs. But then it's got some kind of scraggly wings... Uh, and like a hawk's back legs. It's oh, just this hor it. horrific figure. Okay. Is that like... Okay, I mean, the first thing I'm gonna do is just like yell and try and wake people up with the voice. Okay. So, we have shitty perception checks. Go ahead and Greg, give me a, just give me a standard flat check. Okay. I rolled a five. Uh, you're you're terrified. Your voice breaks. Uh, it comes out as a just a, a raw squeak, not very loud. Nobody seems to be stirred by it. Okay. Uh, how much noise would a bomb make? <laughs> uh, 
don't know. Probably, really a, question. probably a bit. <laughs> I had to guess. Probably, well, I don't know. Oh, It'd be like yeah. breaking glass and then fire, right? Like, does it actually yeah. explode or is it like napalm? Is it like a Molotov? Uh, it ignites when exposed to air. Yeah, so probably really all it really does. explode. If it ignites when exposed to air, I mean, there's no longer pressure containing it, so it's not going to make a boom. It's just going to burn. Okay. So I'd say very little. I mean, are these like glass bombs, like Molotovs? Like, what? Would... Yeah, it's like a Molotov. Because I mean, if the glass breaks, like glass breaking is a pretty loud noise. It is kind of a loud noise. Yeah, that's fair. I'll give you that. All right. Well, I'll just take a five foot step away and throw a bomb. Got it. Whoa. That's a, that's a two. So that's probably not gonna hit. Uh, it'll mm, take no nope. two no, fire splash damage. Hit. Okay. I don't know anything about this creature. I just you know, he seemed neat. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, it recoils. Uh, and it it, it rears back its head as if to howl, but no sound comes out. Oh damn. Uh, but would make noise. on the breaking glass, uh, Lee and John start to stir. Start to stir. Uh, so John, you did not sleep in your armor because you're not wearing any. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the protocol is in the field, Lee. So you're gonna have to tell me: were you wearing armor or not when you went to bed? Do you really think I'd go to sleep without wearing my armor? Well, it's I don't work. know. It depends on how fatigued you wanted to be when you woke up. I'm pretty. Yeah. It's leather. It's not too bad. It keeps me warm at night. I'm wearing it. Just lost. Uh, all right. I, I think there is a penalty for that, by the way. We'll look it up is after there... this. Oh, I think it's on that. certain types, yeah. I don't know if leather applies or not. Um, so I guess third action, I, I can command my familiar and have him walk over to who's not stirring, Tuzi. I am dead yeah. asleep, friend. And have him shake him. Love as an interact it. action. Okay. All right, TC, give me a flat check. Oh boy. How's a four do? <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, nope. <laughs> He's not. We're I'm heavy not sleepers TC. tonight. Is that with your perception? TC bats the. Yeah, that's, that's your not... that's your rat scabbers, right? No, nah, I'm just giving a flat check. It's I'm not doing oh, okay. a perception or anything, just because. Yeah, I hope that so, was uh, just. Tusi yeah. perceives that there is something, something jumping on him, and he just he bats it away and rolls over, and and you know and stretches with cat-like grace. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. That's three. All right. So the bad stuff. Uh, is going to go towards you, Greg. Yep. Oh god. That seems really terrible. Why would you do that to somebody? We're not gonna do that to anybody. <laughs> Alright, uh so it's gonna charge forward uh gonna charge at you with its antlers and then uh try to follow up with a bite. Uh so that one'll hit. Oh god. Okay, I'm sorry. So you said you're at twenty now? I am twenty. All right, so that one's a crit, and so is that one. Yuck. All right, so Greg's in trouble. That sounds terrible. So, Lee, so deadly. Deadly. You add the deadly die. die. Yeah. On top of the doubling. Yeah. After right. Oh. I think. Hold it doubles on. as yeah, you like add the deadly. die. Yeah, the yeah. deadly die doesn't Yeah, you, do, double. you don't double the deadly. Yeah. Right, the weapon right. Adds a damage die of the listed side. Roll this after doubling the weapon's damage. Yeah. This yeah, increase yeah, okay. the two dice of the weapon has a greater striking. And three dice if the weapon is okay. Greg, I, how many hit points do you have? 38. Yeah. Like mega fucked. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm down already. <laughs> Just one depth. Uh, assuming I don't min roll this one. Yeah, you took like 50. Okay, then. You took 50 or 60 damage. I'm not even going to add that up. That was absurd. Um, uh, so, yeah, Greg gets gored by this thing, uh, and it takes a big bite out of him and then just kind of tosses him aside and licks its lips and looks at the people who are laying down. 
Uh, Lee, you are up. What kind of right. damage is it? Do I uh, know? you took piercing damage from the antlers and slashing damage from the fangs. Okay. So just I am normal, normal shit. God, it has a rule for a flock of these things. Mm. That seems fucking terrible. <laughs> like, I'm absurd. I'm going to... How close am I to this thing? Uh, so, uh, you guys are... We'll say you're 20 feet away. Because Greg retreated a little bit. You're 20 feet away. The, uh, the, the donkey is about 35 feet from you. He's on the other side of it. Okay. Kind of out a little farther. All right. I'm going to one action ready my weapons, my uh, silver plated short sword and my rapier. Uh, okay. Second action, I'm going to move to it. And then my third okay. action, um, ooh, it's not hunted, so I can't double swing on it. I'll just take a swing with my silver plated sword, short sword. Uh, okay. 13, probably not going to get it. It's not going to cut it. All right. Uh, John, that's to you. Uh, I'm gonna stand up, uh, assess the situation, realize we're in danger. Uh, in this case, I'm going to. Wh what's this thing look like? Like, it's like. Uh, is it like a hold on. or is it like. A... No, it's not a theory. Let me just take a picture of it and send it to you guys in the Discord. That is way fucking. The me describing this fucking terrible, terrible thing. Every kind of like a amalgamation of different beasts. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I have a picture. It's gonna be in the Discord as soon as I can get my phone to open. Soon it's some sort of chimera thing. Kind of sounds like a windy gap. <laughs> or, yeah, <laughs> the old windy like gap. get you every time. Witcher spirit things that are in the woods. <laughs> All right, it's in Discord. Oh yeah. Ah. Looks like a windy gap. That's a weird looking thing. This is a very weird looking thing. Um, well, I guess I'm going to go. Just trying to decide what stance I want to go into. Uh, I'll go into stumbling stance. So what, that stand up stumbling stance? I'm still far away from it, right? You can you can move as part of your stand up. That'll okay. Be fine. Okay. Uh, it'll be all right for this one. And then I'll because uh... we'll I'll, I'll figure you guys when you when you woke up earlier you were starting to kind of roll out. Right. I'm also going to. Uh... Tusi's still not awake, right? That is sleep, boys. not awake. I'm going kind of like as a free action, like yell as I charge towards it, try and like make noise. Uh. Yeah, you can yell. Okay. Uh, do I need Tusi? Give me another flat check. Oh boy, here we go. I haven't rolled above a 10 except for that first perception check. Uh, this one's a 9. All right, John's screaming. Uh, you do wake up and roll over and, and just, you look, you're very confused by what's going on. Uh, but it, it seems like bad things are happening. So you uh, you don't get to stand up for free like, like the other two do, but you're awake. Awake. Uh, I'm going to uh, Flurry of Bloods. Okay. First one is a 16. No dice. Second one is a less than that. So, yep, miss, miss. Did, okay. Uh, did you happen to flank it? You and Lee were about, mm, say, eight feet apart, ten feet apart. I mean, that's what did I... Did you happen to run up on the other side? That's what I would have done because that's whole stumbling stance, yep. this whole thing. It's going to be... Yep, uh, okay. Oh, so yep. We'll assume that you and Lee are flanking the creature. Okay. But so would an 18? Oh, I guess it's still 16, right? It still would. Yeah, it still wouldn't hit. But, okay. All right. Uh, just wanted to let you know that right. you, you, that's the thing. Since we're not playing with the map, we'll, you know. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, and that's. Well, that's three actions. Yep, so that's it. Yep, that's you. Tusi. Um, all right. So I'm going to use an action to stand up. Okay. Uh, and in the process, I'm going to assess the situation and see that Greg is down uh and there's a big scary thing so i'm gonna go ahead and use my other two actions to cast a level two heal spell on greg Next. Uh, it's just 2d8 plus eight 
Uh, here we go for Greg. Is that a 30 foot range? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, Greg, you're going to get, you're going to you're gonna get 16 hit points back. Okay. Greg, okay. you are five feet away from the creature. It <laughs> tossed you five feet because of your light frame. Okay. I'm wounded one. <laughs> And you said 16, is that what you said, Tuesday? Yeah. I got you, Greg. In the thing. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, is that it, Tuesday? Yeah, that's it. That's that's three actions. I stood up and then did a stood thing. Stood up, healed, and healed a guy. All right. <laughs> uh. Do either of you two have attack of opportunity? No. No. Okay. I don't get that till five. No. All right. So the uh, the creature is going to jump up and flap its wings uh, and attempt to. It's going to fly over Lee's head, and you see it kind of blur and disappear uh, for a second. Lee, give me a will save. Oh boy. 23. Okay. Uh, you see it fly in your shadow, and the uh, its shadow uh, starts to try to match. It looks like it's trying to take your shape. Uh, and, you know, the creature is getting blurry, and then, you know, you, you understand that, that whatever's going on is not real. It's just trying to, it's trying to mess with your mind. Uh, so nothing happens. And it's going to then try to give you the the horns and fangs like it did Greg. Give you the business. Thirty-one. Right. So, Are you at twenty-one, Lee? I'm at twenty-one. Yep. So the first one's going to crit, and the second one's going to hit. Okay. my other days. Wow, well, it didn't hit you nearly as hard as it hit Greg. <laughs> uh, so that's 9, 18. Doesn't like girls. Uh, 20, 21 plus yeah. 9, so 30 damage. Oh. It's fine. That's not nearly as hard. It's hard. Literally like half. I mean, probably two yeah. crits. Help. Yeah. Two crits was a bad deal. It's done. <clears throat> All right. It's still next to me. It is next to you. you I'm going to hunt it. I'm hunting going it. to hunt it. Mm. I'm going to give it the old double swing here. Razzle. Uh, I got a 15 and a 20. Was that a, a, a flat, just a 15 and a 20, nothing special? Nothing special. Neither hit. That's scary. Very close. That's real scary. All right. Um, I'm going to take another swing with the uh, short sword. Uh, 20 again. Oh, my gosh. All right, missed. All right. That's it for me. Uh, okay then. Um. So it went over Lee, so it's like ten feet away from you, John. Oh. Okay. Uh, I guess I will try to it and try and hit it. Uh, for your All right. Voice. So you moving around, moving around the back to flank it. Yep. Okay. 
17. Oh, uh, 22. Hit. Um, 8 plus. He's Six, going in. 16 bludgeoning, and it needs to make a D19. Port save over is done. Oh, it, oh, it, it fucked that one up. It's done. Uh, if How it, much damage did you say? If it's a crit fail, it's stun three. Um, it was not a crit fail. Uh, I did a 16 bludgeoning. That's okay. That's what you said. And then, okay. I guess I get to hit it one more time. Or I can, because that was yeah. tried. Let's try one more. Why not? Uh, that is only an 18. Not quite. Yep. Uh, How is it? Let's. What? Go ahead. How's it looking? I mean. I'm assuming fine. <laughs> it, it looks all right. You know, I mean, you, it's clearly so. The blood that's dripping from its mouth, it's now joined by you know uh, a little cut beside its eye where John punched it right in the face. All right. Uh. And it's a, it's a pretty you know head wounds they bleed quite a bit so it, but it's it looked like John gashed it pretty good. Okay. Go ahead, Tuse. All right. Um. Let's see. I don't want to miss. Risk. Did we? Miss did again? we just Greg? Me? Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know where yeah, I'm supposed to go. Greg. We Greg skipped. Greg supposed to go ahead of the bad stuff. We skipped Greg. <laughs> go ahead, Greg. <laughs> It, it took uh, you a second to roll out from that one. I assume I have to stand back up and then pick my shit back up, probably. Uh, yeah. It, you well, did you you didn't have your weapon drawn while you're on True. guard. I don't think you're you're messing with the donkey. True. You just gotta stand up. Whoa, he's messing with the donkey. <laughs> Hold on now. You know, we ain't, we ain't that much friendly. She's um, just, you know, she's you know an animal lover. They're both in melee, right? So bombs are probably gonna splash. Um, I guess well, I'll just. I tell you, I tell you what, John's got a ring he hasn't tried out yet. Yeah, I do have resist three fire, so you know you can throw whatever <laughs> you want. At least the one who's hurt real bad. <laughs> I'll save yeah. the one who's hurt, so. But he's probably gonna die anyways, right? If it touches him again, because that thing does a fuckload of damage. It does do a fuckload of damage, yes. Yeah, let's let's toss a bomb. It's the only way I have to do a lot of damage. I oh. love the logic. Nineteen. Well, Lee, you're probably gonna die anyway. Yeah. Uh, Nineteen. No, no, no. Plus, uh, my bonus. So that's twenty-eight. Oh, it will hit. God, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Concerned. Concerned. <laughs> If it doesn't, so. we should probably run six plus two plus uh, the two splash plus two persistent. So eight. Six plus so two ten, plus ten total and then two persistent. And it's on fire. Yeah, so that's just the mm -hmm. flat check okay. or it takes the damage. Or I guess it takes you know the damage. What? And I, then I determine check. the flat check, right? Yeah, I think so. It's usually like I think yeah. it has like a usual number on there, but yes, I think yeah, you do. I think you said the last time it said DM determines. I was like, oh, that's helpful. Yeah. Uh, all right. Sorry. Go ahead, Tusi. Sorry for skipping you, Greg. No worries. All right. So, uh, Lee see. would not have. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered when when you went because it was between also, them, and then John moved. It was between them again. So yeah. Um, also, so takes... Lee, you'll take two damage. Lee and John. Uh, John, I think resists it though. Yeah, John, you uh, the fire, uh, a splash of fire lands on your arm. And you kind of, kind of look at it, it like it, the you know the greasy Molotov like uh, substance just kind of lands on your arm and slides off to the ground. And you know you look, you know you're used to getting splashed by this stuff, and it doesn't feel real good. And you're like, man, this ring is really, really <laughs> doing the trick. Finally. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and stand still and throw an elemental boulder, a little little ball of fire at the thing, while also simultaneously healing Lee. Uh, so, Lee, you're going to get back... Oh, all right, I'm consistent. 16 hit points. Um, 
that's a level two spell for there. And then elemental toss gives me my focus spell. Ooh, damn. Um, how does a 29 look? No, 28, sorry. 29 or 28. Yeah. Okay. No critical? No, 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 no. bonus there? All right. So you take no, six damage. No dice. Six fire. Okay. Uh, and that's for two actions. So, yep. He is, uh, he's, he's looking, he's for sure bloodied at this point. He's looking pretty rough. Uh, so that'll go back to Greg, since we are <laughs> not going to skip him twice. Let's go again. Uh, uh and technically, so technically sure. he would, the thing would have burnt for two damage too, because I, I skipped you. Correct. So he was, yeah, so I'll, I'll account for that. Okay. Uh, flat check says... He is still on fire. Hey yo. Uh, more bombs, or should I just shoot it? Um. I mean, I think we should do whatever is going to help murder it more. Okay. <laughs> bombs, yeah. definitely. Yeah. More bomb. Uh, this time I only got a nineteen. Total. 19 total will miss. Okay. Two damage to Lee and it. And I'll draw my crossbow and take a shot as well. But not okay. be able to reload. Huh. Uh. Yeah, that's a little less than that, so. Not a. Okay. Back to the bad stuff. All right, so uh, whatever the fuck that is. Yep, seeing that uh, you guys are clearly not being fooled by its shadowy games, it's just gonna try to try to gore Lee uh, for a hit, just a normal hit this time. Uh, eight damage, Lee. Okay. Uh, and he's going to try to fang you as well. Mm. Nope, that will miss. And then he's going to try to fang John. Uh, and that will, I believe, also miss. Wow. I just had some hot rolls a minute ago, guys. It's fine. It's all <laughs> fine. It all balances out. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Lee. All right. Yeah, I rolled three, three out of four over crits. I mean, that's that's a big deal. Taking my double swing. Uh, I got a twenty-four and a eighteen. Uh, eighteen will just miss. Okay. So for the hit, it is six damage. Okay. And John, I forgot stun, so he's gonna be stunned next time. So that's even better for you since he missed all those. Six, All right. Okay. Six uh, damage. All right. Taking another swing. Uh, nat twenty for twenty-seven total. That'll be a crit. Okay. Um. So he's not. He's not deadly. Hold on. Okay. Uh, that's eight plus. So that's sixteen damage. Describe your kill, Lee. Oh. <laughs> uh, hold on let me see the picture of this thing alright I lopped off a wing and as it twisted around got the head right off the thing in one solid piece oh alright alright it had exactly 16 hit points left nice <laughs> so I don't... I, uh Lee, Lee cuts off a burning wing, uh, and as it's reeling, you know, from the from the shock of being on fire and its wing lopped off, it leaves a clear opening, and he follows. Lee follows through with a down, downward stroke, uh, and its head <laughs> drops straight down, uh, and one of the antlers stick in the ground, uh, and the head's kind of canted at an angle. It still has this evil yellow glare uh, at you, and its its tongue is just hanging hanging limp out of its mouth to the side, like. Uh, and the body shudders, uh, shudders and collapses, uh, as, and you know it, it continues to burn. 
you guys are good out of combat we did it we did i want to i want to take the horns off of the antlers off of it of course okay <laughs> somebody knew that was coming yeah <laughs> seems reasonable uh go ahead and uh, give me a survival check please okay dehorn uh, 21 uh oh yeah you got a boat clean right. can Thank i you. like recall knowledge like what the fuck is this uh sure give me a nature sure yeah i think i gotta find it again uh 19 you as it turns out have heard stories about uh creatures uh creatures that uh in the dark uh it's you know sort of a sort of like the uh the wendigo right it's sort of like one of those folk tales that you've always heard the stories and weren't sure they were real uh about creatures creatures like these that are amalgamation of animals that hide and hide in the shadows and and turn turn people's shadows against them uh and then uh eat the hearts of their victims uh but you didn't oh. never know if they were real but you can't remember what they're called but you remember you know hearing uh, at the monastery uh hearing some of the older boys tell stories and try to frighten frighten the younger recruits uh with, with things like this okay john shudders as he reli relives the the horror of, as, of you know a young child trying to sleep after the after a story that that the older kids have told him around a campfire what was it called sorry if i alicia came in you can't you can't even remember what the name of it is you just remember the the feeling of just that feeling of terror that you felt okay. uh, that night when you tried to sleep after those the older boys at the monastery told you the story okay okay you thought it was all thought it was all made up concerning <laughs> concerning indeed All right. Well, the question really is: Was this a chance encounter, or, or... <laughs> are we stumbling into something worse? Yeah. yeah. Have we not uh, explored this tile yet? No, we have explored this tile. We definitely no. explored this tile. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, what's probably your... just haven't been here at night. Maybe then. What's your amulet doing? Is it doing anything? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not wearing it. I'm. I'm not, I don't wear that shit when. Uh. Right, but like. <laughs> it's it in the bag. Okay. You didn't hear it or anything during all this. No. No. When I'm not well, wearing it, 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 yeah. When I'm not wearing uh, it. You guys awesome. get sixty experience. Ooh, raw. Hey yo. You guys are level um, three, aren't you? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh, Four eighty, well, homie. That was third watch, right? So it's not morning. That yet. was uh, fourth watch. Fourth no, time. that you yeah. you heard some stuff, or you didn't hear some stuff on third watch, oh, that okay. may or may not have indicated that it was coming, uh, okay. and then Greg got bushwhacked. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I did actually read the rules on sleeping in armor, and my armor is not comfortable, so I am gonna have to rest uh, within sixteen hours. You're fatigued. I don't know. Hold on. Let me get it back up. Fatigued is just like a, a binary. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could make it more fatigued, but I feel like at that point you'd just be like passing out almost. Like. like fuck <laughs> off. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I just had it. Yeah, it's in the armor. I know it's like if you sleep in it, you wake up fatigued, and if you go longer than 16 hours, you'll end up fatigued. Yeah, sleeping in armor results in poor rest that leaves you fatigued. So, I'm just fatigued then. Yeah, you just take a minus one on everything, I think. Okay, that's fine. I'll take my armor off next time. Um, I... Yeah, there... It doesn't... It's not in the armor section. It's in the daily rest and... Rest and daily preparations. Oh, okay. Uh, but it does tell you about comfortable armor in the armor section. I think when you're fatigued, you also can't do certain. Can't oh, use exploration up. activities 
such as those on page 479 and 480. Hey, that's a thing. Somebody else is doing the exploring. It's all right. Yeah, you're no, basically I'll... just too tired to... <laughs> too tired to explore. Hard. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like sleeping in leather armor wouldn't be that awful, but... I also agree. But, what do I know? Yep. Yeah. Should be like me. Natural. Not wear armor. Right? Yeah, just don't get hit. <laughs> yeah, like, literally everybody else. Tusi, did you... Uh, you have acquired armor, haven't you? I, I have leather armor now, yeah. So, uh, that's a, this is a so, problem that I will have to also have to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't well, get. Uh, I didn't get just hit. Remember though, that. For so. the future. Yeah, yeah. Just remember it for the future, Lee. You don't have to be fatigued now because that was kind of a, a weird. You know, now you know. I'm not going to make you be fatigued with not having known and me not having said anything. So, and you, uh, the wolf fine. head empowered you to fight that other wolf. Fair. Right. The spirit of that <laughs> alpha wolf was was within you there, and you, you woke up strong as fuck. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm fine Power sleeping in the cards. Me. So. Oh, I guess that's true too. Lee just wants you to pull him around in the cart. That's what pretty, pretty much yeah, <laughs> comes down to. True. I mean, I guess there's nothing saying that you couldn't do that. Well, yeah. Perhaps. All day. right. Lee is Lee is removed his armor and is passed out in the piles of rations. <laughs> you know, he's caressing yep. Greg's sickle. Just, just sweating on everybody's lunch. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Drooling on the tent. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> Seems right. Yeah. <laughs> Just rolls over, nibbles a little bit, rolls back. Yeah. It's fine. What are you doing with those horns, Lee? Anything? Uh, I'm just hanging on to him for now. He's got plans. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know they're going on my helm. I mean, <laughs> once, once yeah. you can get them, yeah. You yeah. trick the fuck out of this cart, though. <laughs> I mean, we could. I'm not saying we have to, Gosh. but. How's my driving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, as I'm looking at the cart the next day and I notice a chip in the wheel and I wonder what the fuck happened to it, I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's a little one, it's a little cheek out of it. It's like, it's like whenever you get a new car and you just slightly scratch the curb. You know, what the fuck? <laughs> Goddamn pain. Yep, this is exactly what's going on right now. I love it. I was just, I was listening to a book today and they were talking about, so it's, it's a, uh, a, kind of a post-apocalyptic event book where like EMP like symptoms happen and, and they they make siege equipment and it's an old engineer has built the siege equipment and on the side of it like he's got like little slogans like have a nice day and uh, many fond regards he's named them all like tanks from World War Two right like, <laughs> <laughs> funny <laughs> this is what it reminds me of how's my driving <laughs> yeah we could just mount the trophies on the side of this thing and just become like this like horrible amalgamation of a uh, monster trophies on the side of our car. I mean, I mean, I guess I can, I can do that with the antlers. I mean, we'll see a deer eventually, and I'll take those antlers. So if you want to put these on the cart, I'm fine. I'll uh, give you plus one bonus damage if you can successfully mount the antlers to the front of the cart on the charge. What check would that be? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. We're gonna have to figure crafting? it out. It's gonna be a, some sort of crafting check, right? Like a vehicle I'm down. <laughs> Downtime while traveling. I'll ride in the car too. Yeah. All right. What do you guys got? What, you gonna continue to go east? Yeah, I guess yeah. We'll reconnoiter uh, I as we. Oh. Yeah, reconnoiter. You're, you're moving. Can. You're moving at normal speed now because you're out of the forest. You're in the hills. Yep. You are at the edge of I-26, the west edge. Or not I-26, I'm sorry, J-26. J-26, yeah. Yeah, I think we just head out, uh, keep heading east. Do we throw around you guys the already treat wounds? Uh, out. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You guys should treat wounds and stuff. For... Yeah. Yep. I'll do hey, that. Hey, guess what, boys? We're in nature. Yeah. We I'll are get... in nature. <laughs> I'll get Lee... Um, I'm gonna do the DC 20 check because I'm yeah. I'm gonna, it. Every time I'm feeling it. it. I'm feeling it. I'm defaulting that as well. That's I did pass neat. it. All right, 16 plus uh, six, 22 plus two, because nature. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty. 24. Yeah, that's neat. We're going for a nature walk. Uh, <laughs> 2d8 plus 10. 
What's it, yeah? Is it it's two d eight plus ten for the DC twenty check? Like, oh, twenty five for myself. I am definitely full. Uh, twenty three for for Lee. Thank you. Lee's looking pretty good. Yeah. Also, that wounded. wounded. All right. Does it relieve fatigue? No, it only gets wounded, not fatigued. But... Yeah, just wounded. I think we just uh. I don't think we need to reckon with her. Yeah. Uh, we should. What? We already need to have like one day's rations off, right? Yep. Mark one. Okay. Yeah. I guess Onyx is free now. I picked up three weeks of ration. Or no, two weeks of. No, I had 29. I picked up three weeks. So I'm at 20. Why are you all wet? Oh, okay. This is right on site. I don't know how I know Southern Indiana weather, but I do. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to have it bad storms. rainy outside. Yeah. It it got bad over here for a minute. Lee. We heard some major thunder and lightning, but it never got like super like heavy or anything. Uh, I know there was hail up on the interstate because my mother-in-law was bringing Edith back, and uh, they like pulled over and under an underpass. But I don't know how big the hail was because my mother-in-law described it. I asked her if it was big, and she said yes, and then made something the size of like maybe a grape, probably smaller than a grape. So I don't Damn. know. That could do some damage. So you guys are moving to the east. Moving to the east. Moving All right. So you guys make it across I to our J26. Uh, you've got it's uh, early afternoon. You're in J28. You still have one action, one exploration activity. Uh. Are you going to? Which way are you going? You are now in J at the edge of J28. I guess when should we start looking for Gerblin stuff? Uh, we don't need to start looking for Gerblin stuff until J34, so we've got a ways to go. Yeah. Uh... We got... Yeah, it's a wee bit, uh, a wee bit of ways away. tiles all you want to yeah like i say we're just not in a hurry so i feel like we could you know out again. yeah well i mean i mean you still have another move if you want to make a move before you can it's yeah cool. yeah i say we just move there's right i say we move again right. yeah. j30 at the edge of j30 uh it's starting to get dark uh before you know before it gets too dark you guys uh, try to locate a suitable place to camp. Give me a survival check for that this time, since you're getting out farther than you've been. 18 plus whatever my survival modifier is. 11. 9. Uh, 17. <laughs> 18 plus my survival, survival modifier. Huh? <laughs> yes. Nice. Greg, you want to weigh in? Did you want to go look for a campsite? Uh, I guess I have an okay mod, yeah, sure. Uh, 19. All right. Um, so you guys, you managed to find a spot on top of a, on top of a small hill, uh, that's, you know, you can see for quite a ways around you. And it looks like it's a solid spot to camp. Nice. Oh, uh, so you, you know, pull up the cart, you see a little bit of some bushes and stuff that look like they're you can easily you know hack them pretty dry i can get your fire started if you want to cook some food up 
Yeah. Um, we go ahead and mark another ration. Uh, you can go ahead and mark another ration. Assuming you guys are gonna eat at yeah. some point throughout the day and tonight. Yeah. I mean, if you guys wanna just opt, you know, opt into fasting, you're more than welcome to do it. I don't, <laughs> I don't judge. Um, I will not be fasting. I will be also be taking off my armor before bed, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Just set up my pup tent, you know. Right. Yeah, for sure. Set up the tent. Roll out the bedroll. Okay. Look tent at the camp. cart. Admire the on cart. Donkey. I am kind of admiring it. I'm still looking at the wheel, though. I'm kind of I'm just like... Push the cart. <laughs> Push the cart. Uh, All right. Uh, all right. Watch orders. Throw them in there, boys. Throw them in there. Figure right. same watch order. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch order is always the same. We got an 18. I got the exact same roll. 27. Okay. Uh, John, give me a perception check. On top of this one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, never mind. You already gave me one. Yeah. I, I don't know why I asked for that. Okay. John, you see... Uh, you see some movement. A uh, small creature in the bushes. Uh, small creature in the bushes. It, uh, it pops out, and it looks sort of like a fox. Uh, it locks eyes with you, and then it just runs away. Hmm. A fox, eh? Yep, that's what it sort of looked like. Sort of looked like? Yeah, I mean, it was running pretty fast. It just it locked eyes with you and, and ran off. It was about the size and shape of a fox. It had some red fur. Well, uh... I'll just relay that information to Lee that there was a uh, furry creature watching us. That's about all I saw. All right, Lee, do anything in particular with this information? Or are you just gonna? <clears throat> I do want to know if it was kind of mimicky looking. Like, did it have any chair-like features? Uh, no chair-like features, but it definitely, um, you know, kind of more like a, a nice, uh, nice comfy chair. I mean, it's plush. You know, it's not wooden. It's plush. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. So Lee All right. Uh, is knowing that there are potential uh, mimics that they're more experienced and have, have you know seen some shit. Basically, they know to adopt the more uh, the more uh, creature comfort sort of things mm -hmm. uh, to lure in their prey. He's extra vigilant on watch, and he actually gets a plus two oh. to his perception. He doesn't see anything. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He relays the information to Greg, thinking that Lee's fucking nuts. Greg gets a minus two and doesn't see anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, so n nothing else happens the rest of the night. You guys make sure you recover hit points for your, from your con mod times level, yep. and you guys are good to go. I'm going to go ahead and bring Onyx down to two. Just... John, uh, did you account be, for yesterday? And it should be one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, John did it last time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, he it just didn't do some current trip. You guys are... For what, two days out? One day, two days. T total is uh, 39 now. Yep. God, you guys have been at it for 39 days. <laughs> I, I added one for yesterday, so 38. 38, okay. Look at us go. Wow. Real adventurers. I did not update the rest of it. I feel like we've really gotten to know each other over this last month and week. <laughs> yep. Five week period. Uh, All right. Any? You guys are in J30. J30. We're almost there. We've got two tiles away. I think we just start. I think we just keep, or we hope it one more. Um, yeah, one more, and well, I feel like we should like start looking for signs of gerblins. 
Yeah, yeah, we should probably start reconnoitering or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So, do you want to move across this, like, reconnoiter this tile and move to a different one? Um, I think we just probably move to 32 and then reconnoiter 32, because we've reconnoitered this one in the past. Okay. You were out this far? Well, yeah, we were on... Uh, we were on, whatchamacallit, yeah. Uh, I've got it lit well, noted as hills and plains. Uh, who sees the map guy? Yeah. I think the map you guy. saw that tile from somewhere. Oh, we might have seen it? Okay, so maybe we should reconnoiter it then. Yeah. You probably should start, you should probably start marking an R on stuff you for sure reconnoitered. <laughs> That's fair. Because this one I don't think you've reconnoitered. Uh, I'm, I'm relying on you for that because I have notes all over my map that are, if I put R's on it too, it'd be impossible. It'd be too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, or I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. But in the meantime, hey, you guys, you want to reconnoiter this tile? Sure. Yeah. What's that? Is know, that everybody else kind of looks around like, what, what's he talking about a tile? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead and it, just give me, give me a, a team perception check here. And we'll see what we get. Ooh. We'll see how good anybody does. 12, 15. 15. Four, 14 for me. All right, Greg, help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, that twenty did so. <laughs> Woo! Sweet. So, Greg, uh, as you know, the search has gone on for most of the day, and you don't. There's just been no sign of any anything, no goblin tracks. But you have managed to, you know, map this out that this is a hilly. It's a hilly area that overlooks a uh, forest to the southwest. Uh, and you, you see that kind of on the eastern boundary, the hills start to flatten out toward the plains. To the southeast, though, you see uh, it kind of as you're to the southeast edge of this little area, uh, you notice that uh, there are hills still, uh, but you get to a very tall hill, and you can see that farther to the southeast, the plains extend out, and and you know it's there's just there looks like there's been some uh, some forest on the southern end of that that's maybe been uh, it looks like it's been chopped like you can see you can see stumps and like you somehow eagle eye man it looks like there's there's something down there that's been uh, that's been altered to somewhere to your south southeast it doesn't look natural. I'll relay that and uh, just say, hey, we should probably eyes. go check this out. That direction. I, uh... All right. Wander. Which tile is that, technically? He sees that uh, somewhere, somewhere between. He, you know, you'd think it would be probably. Uh, K twenty or I say thirty one and uh, L thirty, kind of in that area, kind of toward that southern border. He sees some some stuff going on. Got it. Get it. Get it. So I guess we wander in, or now we're going to move down towards uh, what would be K31. Okay. Into K31 you go. Hold on, I'm messaging George. He wants me to play Diablo. Not now, George. Yeah, he said, well, I didn't know. I thought you were playing something. I didn't know what time that got over. I said, it gets over, and I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. That is that.
All right, so you guys uh, have entered K30 into this hilly area. Um, well, that is, it's starting to get pretty, uh, sun's getting pretty low, big guy. <laughs> As you move into this area. Yeah, I think we, we call it. Uh, so go ahead and give me uh, another group survival check for camp spots. 19. 11. Uh, 12. We need a perception. Uh, survival. 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 Oh, a four. Okay. Hey, yo. John's, John thinks he's found a good spot. <laughs> uh, Greg dissuades him that, and says that that there's like rocks uh, all over the he, fucking ground and shit. Yeah, <laughs> you're down at like you're down at like the in a gully with you know kind of pretty steep hills on either side of you, and there's just rocks everywhere. And you're like, this this spot seems right. This is just like the monastery uh, when I grew up. Uh, and you know, Greg manages to convince him to move on down the road, and uh, he, he Greg finds this little another little small hill that uh, that. It's, it's not as good as the last time around. There's there's some uh, some scrub. There's some scrub on on the west side. Uh, you know some small small saplings and trees and things uh, that you know are a little more concealing. Uh, it's not wide open ground like it was, but uh, you, you're reasonably certain that you can see some stuff coming from a ways off in most directions. Uh, and obviously, since there's some saplings, if you guys want to fire. There is uh, there's ample ability to cook and have provide light or whatever you want to do. All right. Um... And then I think uh, I think we probably uh, because anything from here on out is going to be significantly more intensive. Right. I think we probably right. just cut her a little short and call it tonight. Fine. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and then. Delete the per. I'm gonna delete the perception checks, and I'm gonna highlight it. And that's oh, where we're gonna start. Yeah. we're gonna do we're gonna do camp. Uh, we're gonna you know figure out what you're doing for camp. Go ahead and subtract the food so we don't have to mess with it. And it's I'm gonna bad. update the trips to three. Thirty nine onyx is at one. Uh, and then I'm gonna highlight perception checks. So basically, we're just gonna do camping tasks. Figure out the night watch. Go and from there. Yeah. Go from there. Uh, well, let's Sucks. put right out here in some weird color because this thing's starting to get busy. I mean, we could. Can we get rid of all this down here? Like the day. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We can get rid of that. That's fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, also, you guys never finished your marching order. Right now, we have John Gregg. <laughs> That's a thing. Uh, Nobody else marches. Probably Lee and then me. We carry them on our shoulders. Well, I mean, you can make it ten foot wide. That's why I gave you some room. Uh -oh. Like those are, you know, if Lee wants to be up there next to John, I'll allow it. And then you can do a ten. Usually, you do it. You can do a, a marching order that allows for that. And if there's a five foot marching order, you do it separate. Got it. Uh, I'm still gonna stand right here in the back. Just it's always great. in the back slightly. <laughs> I'll be like there. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Check this current out. tile. Uh, we are on K30. I'm sorry, K31. I'm just gonna highlight this blue. This is more so that we. No, we're remember the fuck we when are. we start yeah. back off. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. That's uh, I think that's what I've got for today. Um, we are. Oh, yeah. Never mind. We're good. Nice. We didn't do one of the things I thought we were gonna do today. That's fine. It's because you know, things happen with this. Because we do wolf shit. Creature. Yeah. That was that was wild. By the way. Uh, I've never <laughs> rolled percentage dice that looked like the four four sets of percentage dice I just rolled on that <laughs> on that rest like ever in my life. I was yeah. wondering because it seemed like it was like God, this thing is a something that was that was absurd. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> absurd. Fun. 
fun though. So yeah, it was fine. Right, guys. Nice. I was a little bit worried that somebody just was went going down. To die, but, you know, no. <laughs> Greg just yeah, got blown up. Yeah, yeah. Greg got like thrown. <laughs> yeah. Well, pretty intense. At least he thought to wake people up. That's true. Instead, it was like, oh, I can take him. Not that it really helped, but God, we all get just. <laughs> oh, it absolutely, it absolutely helped. If you hadn't, if you hadn't woke people up, that thing would have downed you and ate your heart. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah. Like, that's what I was reading when I was like, uh, why would you do this to somebody? It literally has, uh, it, one of its abilities is Heart Ripper. Oh. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I was kind of wondering. He said, oh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and I went down on yeah, the first turn. I was like, uh, I think he did it. But I guess not. Oh, no. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. It's, uh, yeah, it says, um, this is an attack, emotion, fear, visual are the keywords on it. And it says it rips out the heart of an adjacent corpse with its jaws. The creature must have died in the last minute. Uh, uh, as the as it rips out the heart, or as it rips the heart free and swallows it whole, it regains 2d6 hit points. Uh, uh, and any creature that's not of that type uh, that witnesses the event has to succeed on a will save and become frightened. Uh, Literally just fucking eats hearts and heals. It, it's It's fine. It's a oh nasty boy. beast. That is, uh, that's something. Wait, you say that these things could be in a flock? Yeah. Oh. Wouldn't that be bad? <laughs> right. <laughs> Run! <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a mission. That's an absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was like a little sidebar on the edge of the page that said, you know, that they, they cage, they're usually lone lone predators but they you know they can travel in flocks <laughs> what the fuck oh jesus okay sure like what I kind guess. of horror show are you putting on but... all right i'm gonna get an early early night's sleep guys i uh will be ready to rock and roll with uh some presumably some goblin slaying uh action next thursday for sure it definitely right. happen. All right. Good. See everybody right. later. See you, guys. Yep. See you. later. Later on.